man who likes to get inside your head and share your thoughts. Please welcome Kevin Bird. I wondered if you could do me a favour. Excuse me, just coming off the stage. This is uh, this is a brand new deck of cards. Um, let me just open this up, and I'm going to take the uh, the appetising bits out and the jokers. Can I ask you, you don't have to come up and do anything, can you just mix them a little bit? And then can you mix, give them to you, and can you mix them a little bit? And so at the end, what's your first name? Alan. Alan, I'd like to make you in charge of the box. Okay, so when he's mixed them a little bit, if you give them to Alan, Alan, if you're happy, then they're mixed up. If you could put them back in the box, that would be absolutely fine. Thank you. So for those of you who haven't seen me before, my job is to try and get in your mind a little bit. I'm not going to embarrass anybody, um, although if you have got any thoughts that you don't want shared, perhaps that's the sort of thing that you might want to take out of your mind now. Uh, I don't embarrass anybody at all. We have a little bit of fun that hopefully people will probably be quite happy to come out and join me. Um, I'm fascinated by people that throw glasses on the floor. <laughs> fascinated by what people think, why they think it, and what we can do to try and influence that sort of thing, okay? So that's what I'm gonna try and do today, and we're gonna try and influence a few of you people. Where's Alan the box? Are we fine? Yeah. Alan, could I uh, come take that box? Thanks very much indeed. Mixed and happy. Yeah. Ladies and gents, I thought if I tried to explain to you a little bit about what I did, first of all, it might help you understand what I'm gonna do later on in the show. So could I have four people, doesn't matter who you are, as long as you're over 18, just come up and join me on stage. You're going to have to do nothing other than to remember a playing card. Yeah? So if you wouldn't mind just coming up, four people, doesn't matter who you are, give them a round of applause and just come up on stage. So, Alan, these completely shuffled, is that okay? Yeah. All I need you to do is to relax. Okay? Don't think about the fact you're on stage, don't think about these people. In fact, you can't actually see them, can you, more than anything else. What's your first name? Fred. Fred. How are you, Fred? You can move along here a little bit, give them a bit more room. And you are? Beckel. Beckel. Becker. 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 Okay, and Nathan. Nathan. Don't ever expect me to remember all these names, but there we go. So look, we open the deck, we passed it along, several people have shuffled the deck and we put it back in the box. I am going to just run my hands down here like this. Fred, whenever you want to stop, hang on, say stop. <laughs> However, if I don't stop at the moment that you say stop and you're not happy, let me know and we'll do it again. I want you to be in total control of this. Is that okay? Okay? Here. You're happy there? Can you take the top card? Don't let me see it. Can you take the next card? Can you have a look there? Can you have a look there? Scott, can you have a look there? Is that fine? Now, all I need you to do is to hide that card so I can't see it. You can put it anywhere you like. I just don't need it. You put it behind your back, if that's okay. Is that all right with you? What I'm going to try and do, if I can, is to show some of the methods that we can use for sort of like seeing how people react. To give you a bit of an example, we all know when our children lie. Yeah, you don't have to say that, you don't have to tell. You just go, my children's lying. So what we're gonna try and do is this. So with you, Fred, just put your hands down by your side, just don't let me see the card. Is that okay? So what we're gonna do is just relax, take a few deep breaths, and we're gonna try and do yours by voice. Okay, so I'm going to need your hands. Just put the card in your back pocket, would you? Okay, good. So I want you to imagine that you've got the cards in front of you here. The red cards are here and the black cards are here. Okay? And all I want you to do is go red, black, red, black, red, black. That's all I need you to do. Okay? Just look out there and go through it out loud. Red, black, red, black, black. Yeah, you don't need to nod your head. It's fine. It's nice. But there we go. Just keep going. Red, black, red, black, red, black. Okay, stop. Okay. You've now got the hearts here, and you've got the diamonds here. Okay, so just go hearts, diamonds, hearts, diamonds. Keep looking out there for me. Okay, relax. Okay, relax. All I'd like you to do, please, is to count out loud from one right the way through Jack King, Jack Queen King. Okay. Okay, so we've got the voice there. Is that okay? 
So I think, I think, I'm not certain, but I think if you could give me your seven of hearts, we should be fine. Is it seven of hearts? It's the seven of hearts. Thanks very much. Go and sit yourself down. Now we've got you. We're going to do things slightly different here. Okay, we're just simply going to do this by your reaction. Okay, it's not your voice, it's just your reaction. So just keep looking up there, don't worry about anything else. We're going to do exactly the same thing. But this time, I'm just going to talk you through it. Okay, so I just want you to think of your card. Okay, and we're just going to look around the face and the shoulders and everything else here. So we're going to go for red or black. Spade or club. Low or high. Now you put a little mixture on your chin here, your head just low, which makes me think that's a sign that perhaps you're not quite certain. The card. Yes, I know, the bar's been open. So when somebody's not quite certain with a deck of cards, sometimes it's quite whether or not to put the ace at the top or at the bottom of the deck. So I think you have the, no, I don't think you have. No, just go, go with me again. Diamonds and hearts, diamonds and hearts. Could you give me please your four of diamonds? Four of diamonds, ladies and gentlemen. Please sit yourself down, thank you so much. things that you get when uh, people are doing this sort of thing is their reaction when they don't think they're watching you or you're watching them. Okay, so if you could just give me your ace of clubs, that would be absolutely marvellous. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's the ace of clubs. So there we go. Thank you so, much. so it's just me and you then. How are you, Scott? Okay, just relax. Come into the middle, my friend. Ace of clubs, ace of clubs, ace of clubs. So now we're going to try and combine all of those. I don't want you to say anything. I just want you to look to the front, take a nice deep breath. Okay? I'm just going to say, I'm going to look at your reaction, but just keep looking up there. Pick a spot, imaginary spot out there, not the lights because it does your head in, but just imagine there's a red dot at the back there. Okay? And we're just going to go through from here. So we're going to go the other way around. We're going to go with a number first. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack, Queen, King. Okay? Now we're going to go through the suits. Hearts, clubs, diamonds, and spades. Can't help but blink when you say a club, can you? It's terrible. <laughs> Let's go through on the number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're getting close. <laughs> we're getting close. Eight. Right, okay. So I think it's the nine of clubs. Is it the nine of clubs? It's not. It's not going to do that. Take it out. I'm immediately going to ask them to make a second decision. And that is where to stand. So, I've got one, two, three, four, and five. I've also got some envelopes. Madam, can I ask you a favour? Oh, you've got a camera. Can I ask you? You were so good last time. They were difficult to shut. Can you just mix those envelopes up a little bit? And while you're doing that, could... Hiya, oh, yeah, how are you? Now, just before you go to four, there's one thing I need to say to you. You didn't have a choice as to where to stand. Okay? So I'm for you, and for you only, I'm going to give you the option to swap places with any one of these guys. Yeah, who's it going to be? Looks like you're being pushed out, so you're going to number four. Thank you so much. She picked the bold tallest, and she's the littlest, which is good, but there we go. Thank you. Can I take those from you? That's absolutely fine. So I'm just going to get rid of this table. So this is all about decisions. This is all about decisions and things like that, and I'm going to be writing some bits and about. First of all, can we give our round of applause to our lady and our men? And I'm going to give you all an envelope. Is that okay? Just hold it to your chest, hold it to your chest, hold it to your chest. 
if you wouldn't mind, hold it to your chest and hold it to your chest, that's fine. We just need to make sure they stay with you all the time. I do need one more person, this time it needs to be a woman, okay? This is a woman who can go into a shop and make a snap decision. The type of woman that can go shoe shopping, find a pair of shoes in the shop that she likes, yeah, immediately buy them there and then, rather than walking around 11 other shops and coming back to the first one. Hello, how are you? What's your first name? Camelia. Camelia, come over here, Camelia. Now, you get something slightly different here because you get a microphone. No. Because you're in charge. Lovely. So let me just, uh, <laughs> let me just lower that down for you. Excuse my back. Okay, thank you. And you also get some cards. And what I'd like you to do is just to mix these cards up and keep mixing them and keep mixing them and keep mixing them. Is that okay? Because what I'm going to ask you to do is to make two decisions. The first one is a conscious decision and the second one is a subconscious decision. Okay? So not being influenced, although you can be, by the lovely lady at the end there, I'm going to ask you to pick one of these people, one, two, three or five. One, two, three, four or five, yeah? It's not for life. Yeah? You don't even have to take them home with them. But you could pick. You could pick one of the ladies. You could pick the gent. You could pick the tallest or the shortest. Yeah? The slimmest. Yeah? You could have the oldest or the youngest. But I'd like you to make a conscious decision to pick one of those people now. What number? Four. Number four. It's you, sir. Me. Is that okay? <laughs> That's very good. I'm, I'm impressed by that, which is good. And can you stop the cards? Yes, stop going the cards from there. And if we can just get you here just to hold them through like this so the audience can see them, that's good. Okay? Now, you made a conscious decision and a subconscious decision. Okay? The, sub, the conscious decision is you've picked our friend here at number four. And you've stopped there with your finger sitting on the blue card. Would it be strange if the card matched... The colour in there matched the blue card that you've got there. In other words, your conscious decision matched your subconscious decision. Was it Paul? Mm -hmm. yeah. Paul, do me one favour. Just open up your envelope for me a little bit and just slide the card out for me. Would you mind? All the way? Yeah, all the way. That's it. And you should find out you should have the, <laughs> the blue card, which is quite good. Well done. Hold on to that for me. That's brilliant. <laughs> and it's, but this wasn't all about bringing a woman upstairs, up onto the stage, and influencing her. This was trying to influence five people who eventually made the decision to come up and join me on stage. Yeah. They had a choice of where they wanted to stand. In fact, sorry, five gentlemen, sorry, no, four gentlemen and a lady came up to join me. I'm used to doing this with blokes, sorry. In fact, Naomi came up last, and she chose to change positions with Paul. Yeah? Everything else was a free choice where you stood. Folks, I'm going to ask you to do something in a minute. I'd like you to go down and pick up your plastic number and hold the number to the audience, yeah? So the number is facing the audience, okay? Could you do that for me now, please? Keep the number facing the audience, okay? And in a minute, what I'm going to ask you to do is to turn the black sign round and hold them up as if you were doing an ice skating judging competition, okay? Because they came up, they stood where they wanted to. The envelopes were mixed up randomly by this lady. We gave them out, yeah? Could we have influenced them in any way, shape, or form? I don't think so. But do me a favour, could you turn your cards around? Because we've got the white with the white, the blue with the blue, the green with the green, the yellow with the yellow, and the red with the red. Thank you so much for coming up. Scott, you're a good man. Paul, thank you so much. I'll take that off you. Alan, thanks very much indeed. Thank you very much, Naomi. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you very much indeed. So, ladies and gents, when all these companies go out and pin billions of dollars trying to influence you so you know what the Nike tip looks like or the Adidas sign, it is really quite easy to influence people in that simple way, shape or form. So thank you very much. Give a round of applause to those people that came up and helped me. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with me. Hopefully we've done it with a smile on our face, because as my dad always used to say, Kev, if you can go out in front of all those people and make just one person smile, you're crap. <laughs>
Thanks to those people that came out. Thank you very much indeed. Enjoy the rest of the show. My name's Kevin Bell. Thank you.